Hi guys, it is Sophie Lollipop and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this makeup look which is really pretty bluey and green, kind of mermaidy. Um, since I'm using an Disney Ariel palette and I've also done it with three different lip combos so you guys can see what all the different lipsticks look like with this look and decide which one is your favourite. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you're interested in this look, keep watching. So I'm going to start with whitening my teeth. I've talked about this product so many times but this is the Smile Sciences Teeth Whitening Kit in bubblegum flavour. I love it so much. It comes with like the gel and little mouth plates and you basically just have to take off any moisture from your teeth, put some gel in the trays, stick them all over your top and bottom teeth and then put the light in your mouth and sit and wait and wait and wait and by the end of it though, it is just the most amazing, brilliant white kind of glowy look to your teeth. It's amazing. And I have a discount code for you guys. So this is not just a product I'm sponsored to tell you about. This is just a really awesome product. Um, anyway, moving on. I'm just going to tie my hair up in a cute little bow because it is getting in my face. First, I'm going to start with the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I love this stuff, it's really moisturising. Then using the Napoleon Purdus eye cream underneath my eyes. Then I'm using Anastasia Brow Gel in taupe. And I use a Zoeva brow brush for this and I literally just fill in my eyebrows. I don't do anything really nice to them. Um, then I go over the top with Napoleon Purdus um, Wonder Brow in Blonde Ambition. I just use this when I don't have any dark roots because it kind of lightens up my brows a bit. Then using Tarte Concealer, I'm just going around my brows, carving them out. This usually just makes them look really nice and polished and perfect. Then Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Foundation, I am in the lighter shade possible. I really like this except it is a very sheer kind of coverage so I usually feel like it's for those days where I don't want to wear as much makeup or I do this which is just put more concealer over the top. Then using MAC Pro Longwear of course underneath my eyes. And setting that with NARS loose powder, I'm pretty sure this is just the translucent powder. Then the RCMA powder just for the rest of my face because the NARS ones are expensive so I use that under my eyes and the rest of my face doesn't really matter so RCMA works amazingly. This is the Makeup Revolution blush palette. It is so pretty, so pretty. Um, I'm using just the contour shade in that first to sculpt out my cheekbones. It's a really nice matte contour shade actually. And then using a couple of the pinker shades for my cheeks. So I use the lighter pink on the apples of my cheek going up. And then I take the kind of more purply iridescent pink on the outer corners of my cheekbones. I just like the way this looks. It makes your cheeks really glowy. And then that white highlight in it is, is actually amazing. Like, amazing. So I also do my brow bone, my cheekbones, my cupid's bow. Um, down the bridge of my nose, basically anywhere you're trying to highlight. This is the Disney Sephora Aerial Palette. So this is one of the storybook palettes. It's so beautiful and I remember seeing this when I was young and thinking that's amazing and I needed it. But obviously it's a few years old now. Um, I actually just found it on eBay and I was like, oh, I still really want that. I'm going to get it. I started with setting my concealer with seashells and then using Wandering Free in my crease. I basically am just blending this in my crease to be my transition colour but it's still kind of sparkly so it's really pretty. I used the light mint green called Atlantica in my crease again and kind of brought it down onto my lid. I felt like I just needed a little bit more of that greeny tone to transition into before I went into this Finns colour which is a little bit deeper to go all over my eyelid. I then took Caspian C on a really small kind of detailed brush underneath the eyes and blended it into my crease as well, just in the outer corner, just to deepen that little outer bit. Then using Blue Lagoon, this is a gorgeous shade, 
I put that into my crease to kind of bring up the colour a bit. I felt like it was looking a little bit too natural so I wanted to make it a little bit brighter. And then Sick of Swimming right in the inner corner. For my eyeliner I used Tarte So Fine Micro Liner. This really is a micro liner, it's tiny and I really really like it for when you want something a little bit more natural and soft rather than me doing my massive like wings every day. <laughs> and then I used Makeup Forever's Aqua Eyes Waterproof Pencil in 25L. Then I went underneath my little black flick with Max Liquid Last Liner. This one doesn't have a name but this is the first high-end makeup product I ever bought and I love it still. And using Maybelline's Lash Sensational Mascara. These are the Dahlia Lashes by Napoleon Pettis and I'm just popping them onto my eyes with a little bit of duo. If you can't get these lashes, the Ardell 102s are quite similar as well. These are just a little bit more dramatic. So I decided to give you guys three different lip combos. So the first one is Lime Crime's Pink Velvet all over my lips and then I put Lime Crime's Flamingo, they're all going to be Lime Crime by the way, um, I'm putting Flamingo right in the centre of my lip to kind of give it that ombre look. I personally think this combination is my favourite, um, just because I'm a pink fan obviously. <laughs> Then this one is Lime Crime's Suede Berry, which is more of like a coral kind of tone, which definitely goes with those kind of more greeny tones in the eyes. This still looks really nice as well, but I feel like it clashes with my hair a little bit more. And the third option is Cashmere, which is one of my all-time favourite colours. And that, you guys, is the finished look. Thank you so, so much for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel and comment one, two or three which one was your favourite lip combination. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favourite lip combo was and feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's just Sophie Lollipop, same as here. And other than that, hope you're all having a really great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!